Here to explore feminism is Philomena Kunk with one of her moments of wonder. We used to think men were from Mars and women were from Venus, but scientists now believe they both hatched on Earth thousands, maybe even hundreds of years ago. But even though there have probably been women on the planet as long as men, for most of that time, the two sides haven't been equal. The only things that make a woman different from a man are her breasts and vagina, and also his testicles and penis. It's easy to see how these fearsome and almighty genitals convinced generations of men that they were superior. Back in Queen Victorian times, women weren't allowed to vote, even though we had a female king. So some women formed a gang called the Suffragettes. The Suffragettes did things that were considered shocking at the time, like throwing themselves in front of the king's racehorse. They did this partly to highlight how unfair it was that women didn't have a vote, but horses did. And also because being women, they really liked ponies. They also went on hunger strike, sparking the cool fad for women's diets that continues to this day. The suffragettes opened doors for millions of women, whereas before, they had to wait for men to open those doors for them. If it wasn't for the suffragettes, I probably wouldn't be standing here now. I'd be in a kitchen where I belong. Amazingly, it took until 1928 for the women of Britain to be given a vote, and not just a vote, but a vote each, which is fairer. Even though women had a vote, they were still second class, like a shit stamp. So in the 1960s century, there was a new wave of feminists. Back in old but still in colour times, women were seen as eye candy, which are sweets you eat just by looking at them. Then in 1970, Feminists protested at the Miss World show and threw ink bombs at Bob Hope, ruining his chances of winning. Today, shallow beauty contests are unacceptable and women are more visible everywhere, taking important roles in landmark high-quality television programmes like Game of Thrones and True Detective. Despite all that, today a woman's half as likely to earn over £50,000 a year than a man. And to add insult to injury, that money will most likely have a picture of a man on it, because most banknotes don't have women on them, apart from the Queen, who's on all of them. But what is feminism anyway? To find out more, I asked an expert. Hello, who are you? I'm Mary Evans. I'm a Centennial Professor at the Gender Institute at the London School of Economics. And what is a feminist? A feminist is a person, male or female, who thinks that women should have the same human and civic rights as men. Can a feminist wear makeup? Well, I'm wearing it at the moment, and so I would think that's perfectly possible. But well, if they found out, they might cast you out, do you think? I'm not sure who would cast me out. I don't think people go around casting people out. If men were women, do you think they'd have been better at doing feminism than we are? I don't think men would be any better than women are um, at putting forward the feminist case. They're always thinking about sex, aren't they? Like a lot of people, they're thinking about how to pay their mortgages, how to put food on the table. There are lots of questions to fill up everybody's daily lives. Mm. So they're just like us, really, aren't they? They've got their own little personalities. I think they have, and some of those personalities are a lot littler than other personalities, mm. but there's certainly a very, very rich range of them. Yeah. When a feminist looks in the mirror, do they see an equal woman or a better woman? Um, they quite often, like all of us, look for what they want to see and they look for what they hope to see. You see yourself back to front, don't you, in a mirror? But not upside down, why is that? Well, hopefully, because that's the way that mirrors are designed. What powers a mirror? Sorry, you're not the mirrors expert, are you? I'm afraid not. How far have we come? Men in vans still whistle at women in the street, though thanks to feminism, 
the man in the van might be a woman, and the woman they're whistling at might be a prime minister. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be asking, why is the world's hair such a weird colour?